You guys, preparing for this video has actually aged me about 10 years, so I really hope you enjoy this video. <laughs> Yeah, um, <laughs> today, as you can tell from the title, we are going to talk about all the clothes that my dogs wear. Um, yes, this video preparing for has been stressful because apparently I'm not very organized. I thought I was, but I'm not. So we're just going to roll with it <laughs> and I'll kind of let you know along the way why I'm not that organized. <laughs> Before we begin, do you like my new setup? So this is my grooming room and you can see my table and products and I kind of just cleared that off. That's usually kind of like priceless and things like that. Um, but I just cleared that off and now I'm thinking of ideas of what I can put behind there to make it a little bit more interesting for you guys. So yeah, that's the background. And today I have my little teacup and it just says, choose happy so normally I have coffee in the morning it's about 9 a.m now and I'm actually about an hour behind <laughs> um but yeah I have coffee first thing in the morning and then I kind of have tea throughout the day so um I did think about having a second coffee because I'm a little bit stressed out but I decided to go with my tea instead um the reason I think I'm even more stressed out is just the heat because it is um, still August and yesterday was the first kind of break in the weather so we went from kind of late 20s I think hitting even early 30s um, to a drop of about um, 10 degrees I think maybe um, but it's so humid and muggy like just sitting here I'm sweating and I know that's gross, but it's just true. Like, honestly, it's just so humid um, in this house. So, yeah, um, I think that's why I'm more stressed because I'm like, oh, heat. Also, doing your hair at, using, like, hot tools in the heat is not fun. So, let's start the video. The first thing I want to show you I haven't featured in the video before. Actually, a lot of these I haven't featured in videos before. So this is a little harness. This is for Oscar. I've tried them on already and they do fit him. And it is for autumn, winter time. So actually, because it's fur, it's probably more winter, winter time. <laughs> um, they have this cute little like buckle. And then it's a velcro. And then it's like a fur lined inside. That's so cute. So obviously I had to get a matching one. You should know going into this video that I like my dogs to match. <laughs> um, and it might not be the exact same color, but like the same kind of style and everything. However, this is exactly matching. So I've got his and hers. This is for Oscar and this is for Ellie. So that is the first ones. If you are following us over on our Instagram, then you'll have seen these already because I kind of haul them when I pick them up. So every now and then when I pick up new things for the dogs, I do like mini hauls on my stories and things like that. So you will have already seen these. Um, but if not, then this is your first time, I guess. Okay, so the next thing is actually things that I got. They were both originally for Oscar, but one of them is too small for him now. So now it's Ellie's. So this is now Ellie's one and it's just a little rain jacket. So it's light and it's kind of a breathable fabric, as you can see. And then it's kind of this khaki green color. It's khaki? Yeah, kind of a khaki color. So yeah, and again, it has a little pocket here. This pocket, I do understand. <laughs> if you saw my uh, first haul, then you'll know what I'm referring to. But this is on the outside, so I think you can just put like treats or extra poop bags or something in there. So that is um, now Ellie's, and that's the green version. And then this is Oscar's. And this is the navy version, which I think is really cute. Again, same breathable fabric and kind of reflectors as well, which is good for the winter time because obviously the light isn't great um, when you're walking the dogs. 
I like these kind of for autumn time because they're not too heavy, they're very light. Okay, so the next ones don't have a matching counterpart because these were bought um, before we got Ellie. So this is possibly one of my favourites, although he doesn't really wear it. And it's this hoodie, and this hoodie is so cute. Oh, I should probably say where I got them from. So the first actually ones, and a lot of these are actually from Aldi to be fair. This, however, is from b and I want to say. Is that b and it was in the north anyway because we don't have b and in, in Ireland, the Republic. So I think it was from the north of Ireland. Um, and it's so cute. It just has this little, little pocket here. And he looks so cute in the way. Traffic. But yes, he looks so cute. And it's just like fleece lines as well. Oh, I love it. So cute. So that was, I think, B&M or Home Store and more. No, b and I'm gonna go with b and The next one is another one from Aldi. I think the rest are from Aldi, really, actually. Uh, this is the pet collection. I love when they have their pet event because they have like such cute coats. So there's this one and this underneath is like this kind of plaid effect, which is really cute. And then outside is a kind of a navy. It looks more royal blue in the camera, but it's actually more of a navy blue. And then it just has the pet collection there. And then it has this like corduroy kind of style collar. And it's just in like this tan color. And I just think it's so cute. So that's the next one. Now, the next one isn't actually Oscar's or Ellie's. Um, it was originally bought for Oscar. I need to move back. I feel like I'm cutting my head off. So it was originally bought for Oscar, but it didn't really fit him and it ended up going to Roxy. So some of you may know Roxy's story, but we lost Roxy in January. She was a foster dog, but she was, she meant a lot to us. She was um, very sick. She had epilepsy and she became a big part of our family um, pretty quickly. And yeah, so unfortunately we ended up losing her in January and I don't think I'll ever get rid of this coat. <laughs> so this is kind of her coat now. So it was baby blue and Roxy was a lab collie mix. So she was much bigger than Oscar. She was about maybe twice the size of Oscar. Yeah. So, and this was again a pet collection one and it's so cute, it was just a light one. She used to wear quite a lot actually out in the rain. And um, yeah, this is, this is her coat and I miss her. And finally, of the coats I have to show you here in front of me, actually this one even still has the tag on it, um, but I don't know how much it was. It doesn't have a price on it. And this again is from Aldi. So this has got two little pockets here, which is really cute. It's like this kind of tweed kind of style coat. And then on the inside, it is fleecy, which is so cute. It has this little tie at the bottom. And sorry, just got cut off. Um, not sure where I left off, but... I think I was saying how this hood is fur lined as well, which is really cute. And it has this like buckle at the back. So you can like attach it to the buckle so it doesn't like fall over the dog's head. So it actually like ends up coming back like that. I just think that's really cute. Um, so yeah, that's the last I have to show you. Now, so I do have little jumpers or sweaters as you call them in the US for the dogs for Halloween and Christmas, but I thought I'd leave those as a surprise for you. Or, to be honest, I can't find them. So <laughs> this is why I was so stressed out today. I have no idea where they are, and I know they're in this house, and I know that they're probably packed up somewhere. Um, I went through where I thought they could be, and I cannot find them. So now they're gonna be a surprise. I mean, not that much of a surprise. I'm gonna put some photos here. So you can have a sneak peek. Um, but yeah, they're gonna be a bit of a surprise. So we have the Halloween ones and we have the Christmas ones. Oh, I need tea. I don't think I have 
photos of both the Christmas ones, just the one, but you're gonna see it there anyway. Um, in fact, I don't even think I have a photo. I think it's video. So yeah, this is a, this video. <laughs> this video is gonna be a bit of a mess, I think. But yes, yeah, so I have the Halloween and the Christmas ones and I do um, intend on picking up some more for the holidays seasons this year. And finally, we also have two other coats that I also can't find. And I know I had them last week and I put them in my car because I thought it was going to rain and it turned out it was beautifully sunny to the point where I actually got sunburned. So yeah, we were wrong about that one. But yeah, I put them in my car. Then I had to hastily clean my car because I had people going into my car that I didn't realize. Um, and then I can't find them. So there's pictures here or videos or whatever inserted um, for so that you can see them all. But if you want to see me talk about it and show it to you, then you can check out that first ever Aldi haul, which I will link below and will be linked in the cards as well. So if you want to go check them out, you can. And yeah, I think that's the end of the video. So <laughs> I think I actually spent more time looking for the jumpers and the coats than I actually have done sitting down talk to you guys. Um, but yeah, I really hope you like this video. Please leave me a comment below and tell me about your dog's um, clothes. I love hearing about them. And yeah. Um, in Ireland, it's actually not very common for collies to be wearing coats or clothes. I feel like it's more becoming more of a common thing that bigger dogs are wearing clothes. But even so, um, collies are the bottom of the food chain in Ireland when it comes to dogs. Uh, maybe not all over Ireland, but definitely when it comes to rural Ireland. Um, collies are the type of dogs that people don't have them as pets because they are not pets. They are animals. They are working dogs. They are the dog that sits outside and, you know, braves the weather, sleeps in a doorway or in a barn and gets fed scraps and wouldn't really be considered a pet, um, they wouldn't get toys, they wouldn't get vet care unless, unless necessary, um, as in they wouldn't get routine checkups or anything like that, uh, they wouldn't get grooming, <laughs> not a hope, unless they get sheared with the sheep, um, yeah, uh, it's a thing that I hope is changing, uh, honestly, and I do see a lot of change coming that way I guess but it's not fast enough and it's not enough in my opinion yet. I do work with a rescue that is mainly a collie rescue, collie and collie mix so and kelpies so basically um, working herding dogs in the area so we kind of have the Irish collie which is kind of deemed as a mixture of kind of collies um we have the border collie and we have a lot of kelpies and kelpie mixes as well these are the dogs that are not wanted essentially and my dogs are both ex-working dogs that were not wanted one who was treated really badly and one who just she wasn't treated badly she but she was never a pet um so yeah, it is kind of unusual, I suppose, for people to see me out with my dogs and they're wearing their coats and their fancy collars and their bandanas and their shiny coats and everything like that, you know. Um, but it's something I'm proud to bring and to show people as well. I mean, even people who love dogs, generally, I think, wouldn't think to get a collie, really. Uh, don't get me wrong, we have loads of amazing people that have adopted collies from the rescue that I work with Lo amazing amazing people and they're living the life of royalty like so yeah absolutely there are those people out there but I just know that in other countries that they are probably treated a lot more like pets and a lot more for the amazing dogs that they are rather than the dog that gets overused overworked and underappreciated I've said it before and I said it again, don't get me started on the subject collies. I know I kind of did it to myself. Um, so I take that one, I take that responsibility. I really want to close the window, but it's like so hot and we don't have air conditioning in our house. So, so yeah. Anyway, 
um, please leave me a comment below. If you have a collie, tell me all about your collie or your Kelpie or your working dog. I would love to hear all about them. Um, if your dog wears clothes, then please tell me about your dog's clothes. Is your dog's wardrobe bigger than yours? Because I feel like it's heading in that direction with my dogs and I am here for it. I am so happy about it and my dogs are always going to be clean and dry and happy and you know unless they want to go in the water so yeah um that's the end of the video i'm gonna stop rambling now i guess but you know as always i might have been a bit stressed in the beginning but i love sitting down to talk to you guys i love filming videos um so yeah it's been a really good day and i will talk to you soon bye